welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel my name is vanessa and if this is your first time seeing this pretty face this absolutely lovely face please don't let this be your last you know by clicking the subscription button and joining the fam so you guys today i have very i have a very uneventful day ahead of me i'm up early but there's nothing much i'm going to do today apart from working but i'm actually excited so my friend or she's more like my sister called me yesterday to tell me that you know she was coming to visit and i haven't seen her in a while so i'm looking forward to that we both live here oh. we both live in cameroon but i don't know for the fact that she's in a different town and yaounde is like three to four hours away it's a little bit more complicated to see her and i can't see her as often as i want to so i'm actually looking forward to this visit so yeah guys i'll probably see you guys again when she comes because right now apart from dressing up and going to work there's nothing really i have to do and there's really nothing to vlog it's just, i'm just going to bore you guys so when she's here i'm going to start like the vlog officially um thank you for all your love and all your support and don't forget to like share and subscribe and i hope you enjoyed the video one eternity where when i see this morning <laughs> Jesus. Where would I see this money? Shut up and listen to this. Where are you posting this money? People should come and confess. Confess, why are you seeing the money? Why are you seeing the money? I have money. <laughs> Hi guys. Sorry I haven't checked in in a while. Like, I've been up and running. You guys, like, it's actually so hot, it's unbearable. But yeah, today I have to run a few errands. I have a few people to meet and hopefully today goes well because there's this appointment I have today and like I'm crossing my fingers that, you know, the answer is positive. So I'm going to show you guys like my full outfit and I'll be on my way. Look at who decided to show up. If I get missing today, since she's the one taking me out, people should locate her. Show your face, Joe. Say hello. Be polite. Don't be rude. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Can you imagine? She's probably shy now for you. She's what? a terrorist. I'm a very shy person. Yeah. Hi, loves. That's the shy person. No? She's supposedly shy. A big. You guys, so we decided to go and ambush my father. He's taking lunch somewhere, and I want to go and eat on his bill. So, <laughs> I mean. That's why he has daughters. It's a good thing. It's a good thing to be a dad, you know. I'm gonna enjoy. They're trying to get me fat today. I'll be eating all the wrong things today. See, see. What do you have to say for yourself? Can you imagine? hi guys sorry i forgot to end the vlog um properly yesterday because i got home quite late i got home like 10 pm and i just went straight to bed so yesterday my day went well my appointment actually went well even though the answer i expected was not what i got and to be honest i'm quite tired of people telling me that you know they're going to do stuff they're going to do stuff i should just wait for them to call me and they're going to call me soon 
and the core never comes and if the core comes it takes like a long time for it to come so like that was the response i received after i was happy for a bit because i thought that it was a big deal but after i realized that you know we are human and human beings at the end of the day most of them fail so i'm not even going to put my hopes in that i'm just going to you know continuously look for something better um sorry if i if i didn't say it, it was a job interview and then um and then i actually want to take like the weekend off i will look for like um a furnished apartment and just take my time go and like rest and every time i mention it and i tell people that you know i'm just stressed and i'm going through stuff everybody's like stressed for what at what age what is possibly stressing you and it's annoying because i mean like we're all humans for the fact that you feel like i'm privileged to a certain degree doesn't mean that you know i'm not going through stuff like what is stressing you and what is stressing me is two different things and i don't i don't i don't really understand why people make you feel like my problems are not valid because they feel like i already have certain things so i have i have no right to complain but i'm sorry i'm still going to do it so yeah i'm going to i don't know why i always use booking.com so i'm going to booking.com right now and i'll just look for like a comfy place for like the weekend and just go somewhere and go and i don't know chill for a bit so yeah guys i think i'm already at work and that's literally all i'm going to do today so i think i'm just going to end this vlog here and then i'll see you guys soon so i went to the supermarket to get food stuff so i could make what i needed to eat this weekend so I actually don't have to leave the apartment to look for food or for what to drink. Welcome to Lean Residence and it is located in Ueshe, Campus A to be exact. I loved how clean and spacious everything was. I was actually so impressed because I wasn't expecting this. When I think about like apartments in this area, I don't think about clean and spacious. I was so in love with the parlor, like it's just, you know, extra space, you can have friends over for drinks. I love the fact that they had a dining section where you could sit and you know eat and just have fun. They had TV with cable and free Wi-Fi and I loved the artwork. The parlor also had a double balcony where you could just you know stand and receive fresh air or just look at the view. There's not much of a view because it's a student area but it is what it is. So right here you have a safe and um covered space and then here you have more space you have the bed I love the fact that they have like you know plugs beside the bed like it just works and you have like a couch here and they have like um, big windows so you have like the view And here you literally have like the window that leads to the bathroom and a full body mirror. This is the bathroom. You notice. <laughs> so 
think. You guys, so somebody actually gifted me soya, one of my aunties. So I'm just going to, you know, eat my soya, watch a movie. I really have a glass and just enjoy my life. You guys, so I just finished filming a video for you guys. A very embarrassing video if you ask me, but it is what it is. <laughs> so yeah, right now, like I'm just tired. I'm just exhausted. I want to sleep for a bit. And you guys, like I have like, see, I'm like, getting serious acne. I don't know, the stress is just getting to me, yo. Like, what is this now? What's the meaning of this one? You hey guys, I'll check in with you guys after. Let me... Let your girl sleep for a bit and yeah, I'll be back soon. Peace out. Also, he's a funny guy, so when we are around each other, he makes me laugh back into nonsense. <laughs> funny men, fear them more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you drop the kick in next to your hand. You guys like i'm so i'm so ashamed of myself i don't know where to hide my face like if you're seeing this video now that's because i'm back home obviously and i couldn't film as much content as i wanted to film this weekend because i spent my weekend just sleeping and thinking of my life that's actually all i did so there was really not much to like um vlog and i just took like the weekend off to like rest and to be honest, I didn't I didn't know that I was going to feel this good, you know, like I feel so liberated. I had time to like sit in a quiet place and separate my thoughts and just plan on like stuff that I want to achieve. And it makes so much sense. Like I didn't know that I would feel like that. And also I switched off my social media for a week. So a week I was not reachable, no WhatsApp, no Instagram, no Twitter, nothing. And no more, it felt good. It felt good not to like let in negative energy, not to like receive all this, I don't know, negative thoughts and things from people. Like it just made me feel it just made me feel free. And I'm very grateful that I did that, even if it was just for a week. Like I feel like it's very necessary. So if you're living with people, be it family or whoever, and you've gotten to a point where you know you're just tired, you're just stressed and you need an out, I'd advise you to like take time off, go somewhere that you're alone. It doesn't have to be an apartment like I did because to be honest, an apartment is not the cheapest option, but go somewhere where you can just sit down, you can think, you can plan, and it's going to help you a lot. Switch off your phone for a moment, you're not going to die. Just be unreachable, and trust me, you're going to understand the type of freedom I am feeling now. Also, I don't know why people felt like I kept getting these comments even from my house. Everybody was like, ah, you like enjoyment too. Like, is that how you have money? You just want to go and spend money and pay apartments. Um, it's not like I just wanted to spend money and pay apartments. It's not like I ever had like an influx of money that I decided to do that for myself. Like, is it until I die that I'll start taking care of my body? Like your mental health is important, your worries are valid, whatever you're going through is valid and However you feel like you need to deal with it to get over it, do it and get over it. Leave the rest. Like, they will not die. When they die, you die alone. You don't die with anybody. They bury you alone and that's on period. So, do whatever you have to do to feel sane because trust me, social media is toxic to a level and detoxing is very important. And talking about lean apartments or lean residents, I was so impressed. I was actually so impressed. And like the owner was so polite. Like he literally took me through every step of the way from me leaving my house to getting to his apartment to getting there. And the room I originally wanted, like it was quite small, so I had to change rooms. And he made the process so easy for me. I love the fact that like the security was proper, like they had cameras everywhere and 
he's so aware of whatever goes on in his building. You know, some business owners, they will own the business and they don't even know what is going on inside, but he's there every day. And he kept asking me, is there something I can do for you? Is there something I can offer you? If I needed a taxi, they'll get a taxi for me. If I needed food, they, the room came with a list of available food options that you could call and they could deliver for you. Like, it was so easy, so smooth. And the fact that he was so polite, I'm saying it again because businesses in Dwala don't know how to be polite. You would go to somebody's establishment, even if you're paying money and they'll be rude to you. And this guy was the sweetest thing and I would absolutely recommend it. So now, the reason why I can't share the amount that I paid for the apartment is because at the time they were running a promotion because it was like Easter weekend. So they were running a promotion, so I actually paid a discounted price. But if you go on booking.com and you see Lean Residence, they will show you like the actual prices they're having at the moment. And booking.com has a lot of promotions. So even if you don't get Lean Residence, you will get other apartments or rooms that suit your budget. So yeah guys, I'm just going to end this vlog here. I try not to make my vlogs too long so I don't bore you guys. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm about to start a new one. Hopefully I see you in my next vlog. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Especially like because I've been watching my videos but they forget to like. I know a lot of people forget so please like. It actually really, really, really does help me. And I'll see you guys in my next video.